What is up you guys? It's your boy Seth back with another new video. We need to have a little chat. So today is Thursday, February 13th. We all know what that means. Tomorrow's Valentine's Day. So if you're like me and you're spending Valentine's Day alone, single, um, so it's currently 9.07 p.m. and Cheers. I was just scrolling on my phone when I saw an article, Lonely No More, Ways to Spend Valentine's Day on Your Own. Now I didn't read this article. Get my 20 inches. I thought to myself, there's probably a lot of people out there that are spending it alone. So let's spend it alone together. I have some cookies. Some wow. Yeah. So let's chat. Let's just go through this article together. You know, we really need to figure out how to do Valentine's Day alone, apparently. Um, apparently it's like a big ordeal, but there needs to be lots of articles on it and how to spend it alone. You know what I'm saying? So I'm here to help you. You're here to help me. Help me help you, help me help you, help you. So let's just go through this article together. Haven't opened it, haven't read it at all. I just thought it would be a great time to pull out the camera for all you single ladies out there. You know what I'm saying? So, let's open this article up. It's from the Jakarta Post. Oh my gosh, this was posted today. This article was posted today. Like, 30 minutes ago. Cheers to that. So, though Valentine's Day is someone Though Valentine's Day is synonymous with romance, there are still ways to spend it by yourself. Valentine's Day is often synonymous with flower bouquets, chocolates, which have come to be which have come to be seen as signs of one affections. Okay, that's the tea, because Valentine's Day just adds all this pressure to couples. Like, it's just pointless. You know what I'm saying? Uh, okay, no one cares. Step number one. Step number one. Go on a blind date with a book. What do I look like, a freaking nerd? <laughs> I literally don't have a single book in my house. I have a textbook. I have an art history textbook. Should we read together? Oh my gosh, so romantic. Let me get it. Oh my. Oh my gosh, I got it, you guys. So here's my art history class textbook. The real hardback textbook was like $300 and this was like 70. It doesn't come bound. It's just literally loose leaf paper, but I saved 200 freaking dollars doing this. So let's read together. You know, that's what singles do on Valentine's Day. They go on a blind date with a book. You know what I'm saying? It's super romantic. So let's get into it. I don't feel that I need to start at the beginning. You know, let me just start here. Are you ready? This is going to be like romantic. So get ready. Your socks are about to be knocked off. Get ready. <clears throat> Another pilgrimage. Can I literally read one sentence without messing up? Okay. Another pilgrimage destination is the small church of Notre Dame de Rue. Okay, killed that pronunciation. A Catholic chapel in the Vogueses Mountains of France, built between 1950 and 1955. The design recalls praying hands, the wings of a dove, and the shape of a boat. All Christian symbols of divine generosity. I'm so bored. Okay, my neighbors hate me. So, step number one complete. I know you're all romanced out now, also. Mm, good freaking cooking. Step number two, adopt a clownfish. $500? If you plan to travel to Thailand this February, pay a visit to Fifi Island Village Beach Resort in Ko Fifi. What? What does this have to do with anything? Why are we adopting a clownfish all of a sudden? Okay, we're skipping that one. Throw a slumber party. You can host a slumber party at home and watch horror movies, which can burn calories and elevate your mood. Yes, guys, let's have a slumber party. We can watch scary movies. We can stay up late talking about our feelings, about how we'll never be loved and we'll spend eternity alone. Who wants to do it? Okay, so my address is so everyone come over, come through, show up, let's have a party. So step number four, listen to love songs. What am I thinking? Okay. We need to listen to love songs. Okay, it gives us some suggestions. Don't worry. I know you may be like, I can't think of any love songs. There's a list. The list includes DJ Snake and Justin Bieber's Let Me Love You. Moving on. Ed Sheeran's perfect. Her's best part. I love her. That's a good song. And BTS fake love. I don't listen to BTS. All of Me by John Legend. Thinking Out Loud. Just the way you are. Can't help falling in love. Make 
Make You Feel My Love. Oh, Adele. Yes, we need to listen. Oh, we could do Love Story by Taylor Swift. There's so many freaking options. Should I just go to like a love playlist on Spotify and hit shuffle? Okay, love. Let's just search love on Spotify. Oh, it's a genre of music. Should I do love pop? Bedroom jams. No, 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 that's a little sexual. This photo? No, 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 I don't think so. Let's do love pop, shuffle. I literally don't know that song. I love Lau. This is a good song, but it's not the mood we're looking for. I love Phineas. This is not the mood. I love Five Seconds of Summer. Oh wait, what the frick am I thinking? I'm in my bed. And I want to drink and I'm wandering hands. Skipping to the chorus. Did I skip the chorus? I need to stop clapping. It's like late at night. Ugh, a bop. Okay, let's do like a throwback. I already mentioned it. This song is iconic. song slaps. Enough that crap. That song, so in, I took the bus for one year and it was from the middle school to the high school because my mom worked at the high school and I was going to the middle school. This is the only year of my life I ever took the bus. That song would be played. It was like that whole album. What album of Taylor Swift was this? Fearless. My bus driver had that CD and it would, was on repeat. So like by the end of the year, I knew every single word to every single song on Fearless. I'm a little triggered if you can't tell, but that song slaps, iconic. It hits different. So, moving on. Is that the last thing on this list? That was not helpful, literally at all. Here's another article. Loneliness and spending Valentine's Day alone. Why would I learn the psychology of falling in love? This article's stupid. Things to do if you're spending Valentine's Day alone and bummed about it. I'm not bummed about it. Are you bummed about it? You shouldn't be bummed about it because there's nothing wrong with being alone on Valentine's Day. Thank you. Okay, uh, is there anything else we can do together before I have to, I don't wanna apply for a credit card. What is going on? Try something new. Create a cozy reading kit. What is a reading kit? Okay, why does everyone want to read when they're alone? That's the last thing I want to do. Create a pub crawl. Do I look like I'm about to go crawling through some pubs? Do that one thing you were always too chicken to do. What am I too chicken to do? I don't know, I'm not really scared of much. Like I want to go skydiving, bungee jumping. Like I want to do all that stuff. Oh, go get sushi alone. Sign up for courses that take you one step to that top secret dream. Put on blue lipstick. Take yourself on a solo date, that's fun. Aw, that's fun. Go get your nails done. Walk through a gallery or a museum, that's so fun. Have a wine tasting at home. I'm literally four years old, how could I do that? Have a milkshake bar. Okay, but I don't wanna gain 72 pounds. Be a slob. Check. Ew, what is this? Ad is about erectile dysfunction. Moving on. I was talking about throwing out clothes. I don't know what is going on. But I feel like we had a pretty successful anti-Valentine's Day, people. We read a book. Get to know each other. I'm hosting a slumber party later. RSVP. We listened to some love songs. You know, it was an emotional time for both of us. You know, as far as actually Valentine's Day, I don't have school tomorrow because it's Friday. So I think I'm just gonna be chilling. I'm doing like an anti-Valentine's Day thing. Hang out at a friend's house. It's gonna be a fun little time. I hope you guys are spending Valentine's Day with your friends and family and people you love, not just your significant other, especially if you don't, especially if you don't have one. But yeah, for real, we're in this together. I got you, you know? If anyone asks, just say your lover goes to a different school. That's what I always say. I hope you guys enjoyed this mess of a video. Didn't really make much sense, but that's okay. You know, sometimes things, things don't need to make sense. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it's okay. What am I saying? I need to watch a movie or something. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy your Valentine's Day. Have a lovely weekend. I hope things are going well for you. Hope you're living your best life. So link down below are gonna be my social medias and all that crap you can find down there. Go say hey over there, I always say hey back. Subscribe to me. Most videos, let's say all videos are better than this one because this one was a disaster. And 
So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you. That's what matters. You know what I'm saying? Do you want to be my Valentine? Because that's what I want you to be. I want you to be my Valentine. So love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.